Hey everyone, we've got another image sent in to edit. You can go give her a follow in the description because we've got some pretty awesome travel pics. So as you come down, you can see that there's not a great deal of contrast, got a nice bright image. Some colors are really popping, hardly any shadows and no fade, if maybe a little if any. And when you come back up here, you can see there's a nice pink cast to the entire image and very nice bright whites in these recent posts. So I quite like this and we're gonna be trying to recreate this exact edit here. So really awesome photo and we're gonna get into Lightroom and see what we can do. So we've got our photo from Instagram over here as our reference photo and we've got the unedited version which is kind of dark and kind of flat. So we're gonna brighten it up and the first thing I'm gonna do is enable profile corrections. Going to bring up the exposure. Highlights, shadows, a few whites, and then blacks for a bit of contrast. So it already looks, because this was probably taken at sunset and now it looks nice and bright. So we want to bring up the vibrance a little. And we'll do our tone curve. So I keep the curve quite flat because I said uh, before that there's not much contrast in the image. So I just brought it up a bit more in the shadows and blacks. And what we've got when we enable profile corrections is very, very bright corners. So I just want to fix these really bright corners by just adding a little bit of a vignette. So the next thing we are going to do is play with some colors. So I'm going to do luminance first and I'm just going to really throw up some of these colors because they'll really help us get a bright image. See what the orange luminance does, it really brightens up all this orange. And then the yellows are going to do the same, but even more so. Give it a really nice shine, no greens in the image. Brighten up the sky a little. Brighten up the sky with the blues. Purples, not much. Magenta, not much. So now we're going to fix our hues. So I'm going to make orange a little more yellow. It's quite hard to tell when everything's so saturated. So I'm going to bring saturation down. What looks a little, what I'm going to do right now before we do any more of colors is I'm going to grab a filter and I'm just going to brighten the foreground instead of waiting to the end to do it. Might look a little more natural. So I'm going to Right into that with say one stop and take out all the shadows and get that nice bright look in the sand in the foreground. So because we can't expose these really bright without blowing out other whites in the image, so they must have been done with filters. So we are going to 
do some more saturation. So we need to desaturate a lot of these yellows. There's no greens, but if they were in this image, I'd imagine they'd be very desaturated. Take down these blues a bit. And I mean, most people would start with the hue, but in reality, you're going to be jumping back and forward, back and forward, back up to the whites and shadows, and then back down to the colors. Um, going to make these yellows, which is mainly the sand, and push them just to a bit more of an orange. And these blues for the sky is going to be a more of a lighter aqua. I think we're getting close. I'm going to add in quite a bit of sharpening. And that quite often makes things pop a bit. And there's a bit of grain, might be difficult to see. There is. So I think we are almost done. Except before and after so far. Got that nice orangey, almost pink sand. Bright whites, bright foreground. So what they've done is sort of tidied up the beach a little. So what you can do is grab this tool here, click on bracket key to make it bigger or smaller, click on what you want to replace. As you can see, it's like the clone stamp tool in Photoshop. And you can just remove some darker distracting spots I might have got it the wrong way around another one on there so um, I can't see too much different the skies looking pretty good shouldn't be too blown out at all I think we're good anyway I think you guys get the point I'm going to leave it about there guys, so comment down below who you want to see and try to keep your suggestions to people with fewer than say 50,000 followers because then I can reach out to them, they can send in the images and I can try to do a tutorial on them. So yeah, leave a like, give her a follow in the description, give myself a follow, check out the presets if you haven't done so yet and I will catch you guys in the next one.